Hello, my name is Miguel Gomez, fellow x-ray tech student here, giving you some knowledge to help you on your x-ray school journey. So today we'll be covering what's it like being an x-ray tech in surgery. So in surgery, we'll, through the program, depending on how it's yours, you'll do, ours did a week. I've heard some schools do two weeks of surgery rotation we took ours in the summer and usually it's a different different field i liked it personally i want to actually be in surgery i think it's amazing and cool other people they, they hate it they don't like it so in surgery the main equipment we'll be using is cr which that's a whole different thing to get used to because like there's you can move the tube literally in angles, move it in and out, adjust it, move it around. You have to use your body to push it. And then, so usually for the most part, it is kind of laid back from, from what I've seen in our surgeries. Of course, if you're in bigger cities, like let's say in Dallas, Houston, or something like that, of course, surgeries like is going to be more like ongoing. But in our town, like it's more laid back. So usually our responsibilities is in the morning, go check on the board. It'll be like a giant whiteboard, like when Grey's Anatomy is when they go check. It'll be just like a giant whiteboard. It'll be the name of the patient, who's doing the exam, um, the surgeon. And then it'll be like, um, at what time and in what room. So our job is to go in there and see, okay, let's say um, there's let's say 10 surgeries going on okay out of all those 10 surgeries there's five of them they're going to need um x-ray and so depending on how many um uh, surgeon uh, x-ray techs like are in there you'll you know divide uh, divide the workload and then you'll get into the actual you have to you have to know what room it is you have to go in there set up your c-arm put it in a corner to make sure it's not in the way of the patient no what side the surgeon's gonna be in, so you're on the opposing side, so you're not in the way. It's almost kind of a like trying to fit a little puzzle in the whole thing, because you're important too as X-ray tech. But there's also like a bunch of people. There's there's the the nursing. There's a person who's actually performing the surgery. There's like a bunch of sterile stuff, and then you have the and for certain ones if they're sleeping the anesthesiologist and then you have the scrub tech and then you have the vendor so you gotta find where where to place your CRM which over time I've even seen the techs that are in there they know as soon as they get in there they see okay is doctor let's say given just a random example doctor um let's say Arnold Dr. Arnold's there I know he likes this he likes to do this that that and then depending also on what side, if it's a left or a right, that will also kind of give you a heads up on what side you have to be on. And actually getting into the actual procedure, since everything is stale, I mean sterile, well some, some aren't, some aren't really sterile, some are kind of, but I'll explain. So then some of them, if they're really, like, they are sterile, you'll have to put, like, a little clear thing over the head of the x-ray of the CR, cover it up to make sure it's ster sterile, and you have to watch out where you place it, because usually the bottom part of the CR doesn't have anything, so you have to work around that to make sure it doesn't touch anything, and then when you're actually in there, for the main part, it's usually a bunch of AP lateral some oblique views of the anatomy your base was like let's say you go in there they're doing a lumbar surgery for the most part it's just ap lateral views because they got to see the surgeon okay let's say i'm putting a screw in so you got to take ap so this make sure that the screw is going straight into the little socket and then laterally to make sure it's not going too deep into the bone and stuff like that so those are pretty chill for the most part. We'll just like for the most part, you just be there. You'll pull in your machine, take a picture, pull back, and then the surgeon, you know, do his work. He'll just be there chilling, and then he'll be like, "Okay, I need a ladder." Let me pull back in, put the ladder, 
and then you just wait. Just be there waiting. We kind of, out of everyone in the room, we kind of have the more chill job, you know? Except certain certain procedures, like um, for a gallbladder, you'll just wait to the last minute when they're removing the gallbladder, and you literally almost have, like, within 10 seconds, you just have to kind of already have it pre-angled to the side, just go in, take a shot of it, of the removal of the gallbladder. Because some of the doctors are very, like, they want to be like this, fall fast. So you're kind of limited on the amount of mistakes you can make. If you get in the first time, that's best. But if you're not, you maybe have, like, one more shot to take to fix it up. That's that's another thing that's kind of nervous if you're not as good. And then there's another one where you have to get the perfect circle for, like, if they're drilling something. Because if you're off by side the hole they're putting it in will be like elongated or foreshortened like it'll be moved so you have to get a perfect circle that's another thing you have to work on but for the most part like once you're done with that unless you have to jump to another room most of the time the x-ray techs will just be like chilling in the hallway waiting for another surgery for the most part like i seen we were just chilling like maybe 30 minutes 40 minutes between procedures and won't be doing nothing which is i've seen them they were just on their phone just chilling or they'll be like cleaning the room and then we also help like positioning patients like help them get on and get off that's another thing we have to do and then we have to make sure that you know the equipment's working properly do basic like maintenance on it cleaning it and let's see but for the most part, that that's mainly it. It's not not too crazy bad. For the most part, um, for most surgeries, like you'll get in like a six and you leave about three to four, unless it's like some trauma stuff, then you might have to get called back. But usually they're just Monday through Friday, unless it's you know some trauma stuff. And I I like it. It's pretty interesting. You get to see some crazy stuff. And one thing. That, like, once you smell burned skin, like human skin, like, that smell, like, you can just recognize it out of anywhere. Like, that's one thing that stuck with me. It, it, it smells horrendous. And, you know, in surgery, um, be ready to see a bunch of naked people. That's the one thing you have to be aware of. Since they are wiping them down, cleaning them down, you will see a lot of naked people. And yeah, I hope this helps.